Hello people. So this time we'll discuss about something about uh, there's something called as Outlook add-in which is a part of Dynamics Nav 2017 and those who are following me on my blog they would have seen uh, how to configure it and you know there are some certain steps that you need to follow a different type of authentication method uh, you know and all those things let's let's have a look on that first and then we'll have a demo of uh, how we can do it so there's an article on my blog if you go ahead and search for it you'll find it that how to enable outlook add-in for dynamics nav 2017 and uh, just to clear the first thing first that um, for you know enabling outlook add-in you need to have an ssl certificate if you are planning to have a let's say demo it to a customer or j you just want to test how it works uh, you can create a uh, SSL certificate for your server uh, and you don't need to pay but remember this is only for testing or the demo so you can use this article there is a link about how to create uh, SSL articles there are some PowerShell commands which you can run and will give you an SSL certificate created now SSL certificate is just for authentication when uh, a user you know is not uh, using dynamics nav with windows client so then ssl certificate comes into a picture but for the production you should purchase the ssl certificate from a certifying authority and you know then set it up so if you have the ssl certificate purchased you can follow the steps rest if you want to demo it you can follow this article first and create a demo certificate so uh, the authentication method that we are using for this uh, Outlook add-in is I'm, I'm testing it with nav user nav user password so make sure that in dynamics nav you have a user and a password assigned to it I'm using the setting that this is my username and this is the password that you know I'm using and uh, you can have multiple services pointing to the same uh, database one is with the nav user account and one one is a windows authentication we'll see them and then based on what role you want you can set it up I'm creating a new port uh, so that my Windows authentication port also works and my uh, username password authentication also works so in this particular you can name it anything I'm, I'm just plan uh, just name it as secure so with the certificate you get a, a thumbprint you just need to assign the thumbprint and change the credential type to NAV user password which is by default is your Windows authentication so your normal service remain as it is for windows authentication and you have a separate service for nav user password once you are done you need to change some settings at uh, for the uh, this is for the windows client that how windows client will take it as so you just need to change from windows to nav user password at the same time you need to change your web client because everything which is related to outlook add-in is actually taking your web client inside your outlook so you need to make sure that you at least change this part uh, there are some uh, kind of documentations between these so which i removed so make sure that you search for all these and then change it the port number if you are using a different one make sure you change it and the credential type as nav user password then you need to add your ssl certificate to your uh, web client using IIS so open your IIS and you know follow the step you select that then you go to the bindings then you edit uh, the existing uh, binding or sorry you add the existing a new binding and then select your certificate that you had now comes to the update of your service tier you need to change your web client URL uh, based on as given over here SOAP base URL and O data base URL let's do all in one so that you know we don't face any issues once that is done you can come back to dynamics nav windows of app client and look for assisted setup so it's something look like this let's have a look So in assisted setup there is a setup uh, for setting up outlook for financials which is right now for me is completed uh, but you can you know you can kind of run it again i don't want to do it right now because my things are already set up 
so once you plan to set it up it takes you to some steps like it asks you for your you want to apply it for yourself or for the whole company if you are the admin for office 365 you can set it up for my organization otherwise you can only set it up for your only inbox then you specify your username and password uh, for office 365 and that's done now let's test it with an email id uh, so what i'm doing right now is i, I send an email from my personal email id to uh, to the email id of my you know to my company's email id stating that um, let me know the status of the invoice 10034 let's check first that do we have this invoice in our system or not going back here let's search for invoices okay sales invoices and okay okay so there's only one invoice 10034 for canon group and all right so this is the email which i sent it to me so once the outlook edition is set up you will see it at three places one is here the contact insights okay so it shows you the detail of your customer or vendor and all is linked by user id so if you oh sorry email id so if you go to that customer where i set it up and that's based on the sales invoice customer which is there which is this so this customer will have email id uh, that is my personal email id which is this linking to to see that this customer is linked by that right so if i open that the customer thousand ten thousand sorry so it'll show me the email id and everything of that customer which i right now set as my personal email id that being said uh, so it shows you the whole insight about your uh, contact which is uh, connected to dynamics nav you can create the new sales or the purchase documents from here but as someone is asking you for a particular status of an invoice you can always navigate to document links now when you open the document links actually your web web client sales invoice page is getting loaded inside your outlook so everything which you see on your uh, web client is now can be accessed from your uh, outlook so you see the general tab of your outlook you see the line tab you see the invoice detail and so you see all as a, the whole sales invoice page here you can pop out this then it'll open your uh, uh, web client uh, you can edit it you can add more items to this let's say I'll add one more item let's select one more item so it shows you the item list you selected the item it's a bit slow because there's a connection that is happening between the client and server uh, when it is trying to load the details you get the you know the, the notifications over here so as per my setup it brings things here and then I can um, you know if you need you can post it you can send it you can do, do most of the stuff from within Outlook and these are for the frequent user but remember how it is linked so uh, once I open the download uh, document link there is a highlight part of invoice 10034 which was actually not highlighted by the when the sender sent the email but it was highlighted because system is looking based on this these particular uh, this particular keyword and I'll show you how it, how the system does it so as in right now you don't see that part highlighted but as you open the document link you see that part as highlighted right so based on that highlighting it shows you uh, it looks for the document and then it shows you uh, the document and where you can edit it and where you can kind of process it and reply it from Outlook itself you don't need to go to Dynamics Nav and all uh, the contact insight shows you everything what is the balance of that particular customer which is linked to this particular email id uh, how many sales order and everything so it's kind of the web client which is available over here uh, within outlook and uh, you can do basic uh, you know basic nav processes within uh, outlook 
uh, I'm not sure about the performance after the you know after the setup and after the server and everything has been configured as expected but this is just a demo based on what setup I did and all those stuff now how these keywords are and do uh, does these keywords changes so let's say invoice is being said as uh, uh, let's say a bill in in uh, in India so does that bill make sense to the as a keyword in the system so right now that's a, a kind of a I would not say a limitation but as in something which we as a partners uh, can extend for our customers or you can extend it for your custom pages or the custom solution that have that you have been developing so let's say you go to the add-in, you search for add-in on a page on either on the Windows client or on the web client. You see your office add-in management. From here, you can select the document view that you view the document and all. You can download the manifest file, which is there. And we'll open it and see what is there. And you can, uh, so this is the manifest file for that particular add-in, which is there. So if you see here, uh, there is at the end, there is something called as, let me show you, I'll highlight it so that it's visible. Okay. So if you see this, there is a regular expression, which it is matching and the regular expression value is invoice, order, quote, credit memo, purchase invoice, purchase quote, order, PO sales credit memo sales invoice and all so this is a fixed reg expression right now uh, in the manifest file but you can always edit it modify it based on you know or you can add it add uh, new document types which you are which are planning to add uh, based on your requirement and then you can always upload the updated manifest right so that's an option which is right now uh, allow this by, by changing this uh, regex value it'll support uh, maybe what other languages say to invoice order code at the same time if you have something new in terms of uh, uh, you know you have some custom pages or maybe you have new document types added on the sales or the purchase so that you can add over here and then that will act as a regular expression when user is trying to edit the document link and then he can see that page over here without any problems so that's about the manifest so i think that's all on today's part that was all i was look planning to uh, show you guys let me know your views your comments are actually helpful uh, thank you for all the comments and all the emails which i'm receiving from you uh, i'll be posting more of the videos just uh, during the this is kind of a time crunch situation for me but as soon as i get some time i'll, I'll post more videos about nav 2017 uh, thank you for your time see you next time bye